Joining us on the program right now is Drew Saarinen from Lenbrook, which is the exclusive distributor for Motorola products in Canada. Thanks, Aaron. Happy to be here. So we are talking about one of the great products that actually I've seen and I've reviewed. It is the Motorola MBP36. This is a great piece of equipment. It's a video audio baby monitor. And not only is it that, I mean, you get to control the way that this thing moves up and down, left and right. It gives you all aspects of, uh, of being able to watch your, your, your little one in, in the nursery. Tell me a little bit about this product. Yeah, the, um, this is our, our flagship piece for 2011-2012. Uh, um, it comes with a three and a half inch color uh, monitor, which the parents hold, so it's wireless. Uh, range, you got about up to 590 foot range. And like you just said, you remotely, you can zoom in, zoom out, pan, tilt the camera all remotely from the, uh, the ease of your armchair in the living room. Now, is that something big for you guys to figure out to do the whole, you know, moving the, the, the camera? Because from a new parent myself, I'm going to buy one of these systems. I want to make sure that I can sit in my room or sit wherever I am, push a button, be able to zoom in, maybe zoom out, go left, go right, because kids move all the time in a room, right? So That's right, yeah. And it just makes it that much more relevant, too. It's not something you use when it's just an infant now. It's actually a product that you can use, like you just said, when they're a toddler playing and, and walking around playing in the room. You can follow them around the room, zoom in, what, you know, what's the baby holding? and zoom out, go left, go right. So yeah, I think it's much more relevant with, with those features included. And one of the key things that I found when I was reviewing the item was that there wasn't a lot of noise. Yeah, no, I think, I think Motorola did uh, do a fair bit of engineering and research on the product. Um, I think that's kind of one of our keys, too, is that A, it is so quiet from that point, but even, even from a transmission tra uh, standpoint, it's a 2.4 digital frequency hopping, so it's constantly finding a clear channel. And then the clarity of the video as well, we're really proud of it. It's 25 frames per second, which is really, really good. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. So the, the one thing that I loved about this, uh, about the camera, and, and especially the, the LCD screen, is that you're able to see, I'm not going to say the weather, but you're able to see the temperature in the room. Tell me, <laughs> what was the idea behind showing the temperature? You know, a, a lot of nurseries are upstairs, up in, you know, the baby's room is sometimes above the garage uh, or in a section of the house that's, you know, a little bit farther away from the furnace. So, yeah, it can be a little bit drafty, a little bit cold, or vice versa. In the summer, it can be a little bit hot. So it's just a good sneak sneak peek at, you know, what's going on in the baby's environment. So if it's too hot, too cold, you can very quickly with one look at the screen know what the temperature is. So tell me a little bit about all those options, taking this complex product and you're making it so easy for people to use. So tell me what was the idea behind that and how this is user-friendly and with all the options that you guys have. I, I guess all the options are basically menu-driven around the sides of the screen. If you're looking at it on the on, uh, video right now, you can see all the buttons along the side of the screen. So zoom in, zoom out, uh, left, right, up, down. It's all driven from buttons on the side. So it's very user-friendly and easy that way. And that's what Motorola was really trying to do was you know, taking somewhat of a complex idea and making it pretty easy for, you know, for mom and dad at home to just quickly be able to operate. One of the cool features that um, we haven't just touched on yet also is we do uh, two-way communication. So now not only you can hear the baby crying or talking, you can talk back to the baby. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty neat too because you, you sometimes you want that soothing voice like, you know, it's okay, go back to sleep, don't worry, mommy's here when really she's that's downstairs. Right. Yeah. And the quality of the two-way voice, that is something that the quality is excellent. Well, Motorola, I mean, that's, that's their, the founding fathers were in uh, two-way radio communication. So really, I mean, a, a baby monitor is just sort of a stepping stone, right, from two-way communications into a baby monitor. So, and, and with the global brand of Motorola having pioneered all that too, it just seemed like an obvious choice to get into into baby monitors for Motorola. They do have very good clar uh, clarity in the voice as well. What's the feedback so far on this product? Right now, that, that unit, the MVP36, was number one selling on Amazon for several weeks in a row. I think over the last few weeks, it's number two right now. They actually have a step-down product from that to 33, that's number three as well. So super, super reviews, both on the clarity and, and just the reliability of the product um, of being out there in the market. Same thing in Canada, it's doing very well uh, received in the market as well in Canada. This screen, the LCD screen that comes, it literally fits in the palm of your hand, and it's a 3.5 inch, beautiful LCD screen. It, it, looks like, it looks like you're looking at a high-def TV in your hand. It's absolutely yep. remarkable. I want to talk about kind of the color and, and how it captures all that video playback and, and everything to do with that because it, it's it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, they did a really good job on the screen. It's a really high quality LCD screen. When the light level gets to a certain low level, the infrared automatically kicks in, so it automatically detects that it's getting too dark to see through the camera. So it actually kicks in and turns on. You can probably see on the camera itself the little LEDs. Those are infrared LEDs that give off just enough light for the camera to still function. Of course, it switches from now from color, from full, you know, 
beautiful color to black and white at night vision, but you can still have full clarity and see everything that's going on in the room. When I tested it, there was no issues with interference with any of the other cordless phones I had in my house or other technology. You know, was there any issues when you guys were doing the testing phases with that? For that same reason, just to avoid that problem, it's on frequency hopping. So it's always trying to find a, a free channel, clear channel. So if it detects something on that channel, it automatically switches channels. So and it's undetected, so you, you wouldn't even know that it's changing channels. So there's two different ways for someone to actually put the camera together. Basically put it on top of a, a dresser, or they can put it on top of the wall and, and hang it in on the back. What do you think is, is the best way, or, or why was that done? I think you kind of just touched on both of them anyway. Like It's really kind of more up to the room and the design of the room. Um, ideally, I kind of like it sitting on a, a dresser, pointing towards the baby. Now, we do recommend keeping it you know, out of baby's touch, of course. It, you know, it's plugged in, so keep it away from the baby. Um, but with that pan and tilt, it is kind of nice. You can actually have it on the wall or the ceiling because then you can actually almost do a full 360 uh, turn with it from the ceiling or the wall as well. So it really is up to the room and how it's been set up. I think with um, the MVP36, you're getting probably the best quality of uh, video footage you'll get on any of them, 25 frames per second. The clarity is just, as you just said, is unreal. It's really good clarity, sound, and uh, video, as well as just all the feature set. It's got basically every feature that all the competitors have out there but we actually tend to be at a lower price point. Um, you'll actually, if you go and price, price drop some of the comp competition, you'll see that the Motorola product actually is quite uh, nicely priced in the market. And this is available anywhere in North America, and people can go online, they can go on Amazon and buy it, and some of the big retailers like Walmart carry it as well? Yeah, you got it. Um, here in Canada, the source.ca has picked it up, shopping channel. .ca, um, a lot of the online retailers and, of course, all your boutique baby uh, stores as well across Canada. Retail price is what? Uh, anywhere from $229 to $249. It is a great buy. Thanks a lot for joining us, Drew. Thanks, Aaron. Talk soon.